Hey guys, it's Nick from Pick'em and I'm back with another video and uh, today we're going to be talking about the best bets for UFC Fight Night Kai Kara France versus uh, Amir Albazi and uh, I'm also going to be giving you guys my best over and under bets on this card and I'm going to be giving you guys my lock of the card and uh, parlays also guys so stay tuned let's start with the best bets for this card the first fighter I have is uh, Luan Luane Lacerda I'm really I was really impressed uh, by his last fight against uh, Cody Stamen he, he he did pretty pretty good uh, in my opinion and uh, he's not sitting at such a heavy favorite so I mean I think taking him by money line is a smart play here and uh, I do have a one unit bet on uh, Lacerda by money line um, I don't really see him finishing uh, black here because uh, Damon does have uh, a pretty good jiu jitsu. But um, I do think Luane Lucerda is gonna uh, outstrike him and uh, take the decision here. But um, the money line is the best play. Uh, if you're if you're betting either one of these guys, I think the money line is the safest play here. All right, guys, let's move to the next. The next best bets on this card I have is Elise Reed. I can't believe I'm saying this, but um, she made it into my best bets somehow. Cause uh, Jin Yufra, it's so horrible in MMA that um, I just have to take Elise Reed here. She's sitting at a uh, minus 130 on DraftKings right now, and uh, I do think she's gonna be able to get it done. Likely by decision, but um, I think money line is the safer play here because you don't know Jin Yu Frey if she's be, she's gonna be able to survive to the bell, and uh, Lee Street does have pretty good striking. I do think she's gonna do the same thing as a Lacerda and out strike her, maybe mix in a takedown or two, and uh, she's gonna bounce back and get a win. All right, guys, let's move to the next best bet on this card. I have is uh, where is it Muin Gafarov and uh, he is turning into a favorite slowly I mean when these lines opened up I remember uh, Castaneda was like a minus 175 I think it was and now he's like Castaneda is like a minus 120 I think and uh, Muin Gafarov the money line is sitting at uh like let's see here what the money line is he's sitting at like slight plus money um gafarov gafarov yeah he's sitting at plus 105 right now so i do think the smartest bet here is the money line but um um i personally took him by knockout i do think he's gonna get a tko win over uh castaneda um, I've seen his fights in LFA and he's really impressive. He's always like throwing these big hammers, always trying to get a finish. And I do think he's going to find a finish here for sure. That's why I take uh, Gafarov by knockout. It's a uh, plus 300. Let's see here. Yeah. Gafarov by TKO is plus 300. And I do think he's going to be able to get it done. Alright guys, let's move to the next best bet on this card. We have is Kareen Silva. And I do think she's going to be able to get a submission win here. Likely in the second round. Maybe even in the first round. The money line is kind of too wide for me to bet. I do have her in a parlay. But uh, I do think uh, she's going to be able to f uh, f maybe um, land some strikes on the feet on the first round and then take her down and then lock in a submission. And uh, Kareem Silva by submission is sitting at plus 165 right now. And I do think uh, it's worth a sprinkle. Alright guys, let's move to the next. The second last best bet on this card I have is... Alex Bruce Leroy Caceres 
I do think he's gonna beat uh, Daniel Pineda in this fight and uh, I do think it's gonna be by decision. I know a lot of people want to see him knock this guy out but um, uh, from what I've seen Caceres is okay with winning by decision. He's not always going for knockouts. He's fine with just winning. Anyhow, if he finds a knockout, it might happen. But um, Pineda is very durable and tough. I just don't think uh, Caceres is going to put himself in risk to find that TKO. So I do think uh, uh, Caceres by decision, which is plus 215, 215 right now. And I do think this is going to hit for sure. So once again guys, Alex Caceres by decision plus 215. And now the last best bet on this card I have is my boy Amir Albazi. I do think uh, he's going to be able to get it done. Uh, if you're gonna, if you wanna p just uh, not take too many risk, I do think he's gonna get it done by money line. But uh, however, I do think he's gonna be able to use his grappling in this fight and take Kai Car France down, maybe in the second or third round, maybe even in the fourth round. And then uh, I think Kai is gonna make a mistake while getting up, and then uh, Amir is gonna take his back and uh, lock in a weird naked choke. He's gonna get that submission and uh, right now Amir Albazi is sitting at uh, plus 275 by submission and he's gonna have a lot of time to get it done he's got 25 minutes to find that submission and um, I really s I'm per I'm like 80% confident he's gonna find this submission here alright guys let's move to the parlays now so first of all my safety parlay guys my safety parlay I have is Daniel Willie Cat Santos and then uh, add Green Silva in there um, where is Green Silva god damn it there she is throw her in there and also throw Abu Bakar Nurmago Madov who is closing in as a favorite now and uh, all three of them by money line is plus 295 on DraftKings guys and uh, maybe throw 25 or 50 dollars on this I see this this is very likely going to happen and um, I'm very confident these three got, fighters will get be able to get it done uh, on Saturday alright guys now my lock of the card and I'm gonna be going with my boy Amir Albazi as my lock of the card I know it's very risky taking him since he hasn't faced the best competition I know Kai Kara has faced the much better fighters but I do think uh, he's hungry and he has a grappling edge and I do think he's going to be prepared enough. He trains with Patchy Mix and those guys over there at Extreme Couture. And I really think they're, they're going to prepare him for this fight. And um, I do see him getting it done. But um, if you're going to be betting him, I would advise you guys to take him by money line. And you're going to get him at minus 110. It's a pick em fight for a reason. And... Um, I do think uh, Abazi is going to get it done. So he's my lock of the card. Now guys it's time for the long shot parlay. And for the long shot parlay guys I have. Is Elise Reed. I know. It's amazing that I'm even throwing her in a parlay to be honest. I never thought I would see the day where I would throw Elise Reed in any type of parlay whatsoever. But uh. Here we are. We have her sitting at minus 130. And then we're gonna add uh, Lacerda, who is uh, like a minus 140, 50, I think. Lacerda is sitting at minus 150 now. I mean, that line is 
um, getting wide. It was minus 130 a couple days back. But um, so throw Elise Reed in there in the long shot parlay. Throw Luane Lucerda in there. And uh, also throw um, um, Gafarov. Gafarov. Yeah, let's find him here. The, he's turned the lines are closing in for Gafarov. I do think uh, he's very likely to get it done throw Gafarov by money line which is plus 105 right now yeah Gafarov by money line plus 105 and then for the last fighter throw Amir my lock of the card Amir Albazi which is minus 110 wow where did it go Okay, throw uh, my lock of the card, Amir Albazi in there, and then you're gonna get. Uh, it's gonna pay out at plus one thousand fifty four. Uh, here, I have it right here. So guys, throw. Uh, this is my safety parlay right here. Daniel Santos, Queen Silva, and Abu Bakar Nurmago Meta, which plays at which pays at plus 295 on DraftKings and then for my long shot parlay I have Lise Reed, Luin Lacerda, Gafarov, Albazi and this pays at plus 1054 and for the over and under guys I have Andre the Pitbull Orlovsky versus Don Tal Maze and I see this like as a very boring heavyweight fight uh, none of these guys ever go for finishes and uh, I see this fight very likely going over 2.5 rounds and the line isn't too bad for it I do think this is gonna go all three rounds to the scorecards and uh, for the second over I have uh, Tim Elliott versus Victor Altamiriano and I see this fight going the distance also and sitting at minus 225 right now and then for the third I have is a third fight I have this fight going under 2.5 rounds which is Daniel Velikat Santos versus Johnny Munoz and I see this fight being finished under 2.5 rounds and is sitting at minus 165 on DraftKings then for the last fight, I have Kai Kara France versus Amir Albazi. Um, this is 4.5. Yeah, 4.5 rounds. And I see this fight being finished inside the distance. I don't see this fight going to the scorecards. And uh, you're going to get uh, even money right now, minus 110 on DraftKings. Alright guys, so that's my uh, parlay, my long shot parlay, my lock of the card, my best bets of the card. And now, guys, please subscribe and like the video, it really helps out. I'm trying, my goal is to get to 100 subscribers. I'm gonna be keep making this content. And guys, on the last card, uh, we did really good. We went 10 and 2. And the only two losses were uh, My uh, Michael Johnson. Who was underdog and the second uh, underdog that I lost on was uh, Vanessa Demopoulos. So I think we did really good on the last card. Uh, our safety parlay is hit. The, I think the long shot parlay also hit I think. I don't remember. but um, And the lock of the card also hit on the last one. Alright guys for the... Also I just wanted to, get, to let you guys know that um, for UFC 289 Ray. If you guys have the money please... Hammer Benio Darius money line right now because I see that I see that money line getting wide soon um, Like Where is this fight? Yeah, there it is um, Benio Darius he's sitting at minus 135 right now. It was minus 120 like a week ago But uh, it's getting wide slowly I just feel like Darius is way more hungry than Oliveira and uh, Oliveira pulled out of this fight twice already 
and uh, I just don't feel like he he wants it anymore like he's already had the belt he's already been to the top and uh, he's already made a lot of money and uh, Benio Darius still hasn't done it and the uh, Darius is on like a 8 or 9 fight win streak at 155 which is absolutely insane 155 is full of killers and uh, to have a 8 or 9 fight win streak at 155 is just absolutely insane and you're getting at him at slight money slight favor money please bet Benio Darius I'm like 95% confident he gets it done Alright guys, so please, once again, please uh, like the video, subscribe if you haven't yet, and uh, also uh, leave a comment, leave leave uh, like a W in the comments if you don't know what else to leave, or just let me, leave a comment of who you're going to be taking, what your best parlay is, I'm always uh, looking forward to see who you guys are taking in this card, who your most confident bets are, and uh, once again guys please subscribe it really helps me out uh, it helps more people seeing the videos and now guys so that's it for this video i hope you guys have a good uh good luck this weekend i hope you guys make a lot of money and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one bye now